Oh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Product Nation. This is the Black Shark 2 Pro. And this is the successor to the Black Shark 2 that we already reviewed earlier. And a lot of the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video are kind of rolling off of that video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I definitely recommend you checking that video out. I'm gonna link it up somewhere here. Just watch that video and then come back here and we'll look at what's different. Or oh, you know, these guys are all moves. Double kill. So as you can see, these controllers kind of continue from the previous generation. Uh, they did come with a box for us. The way that the left joystick fits is a little bit different than it was before. Before you had to kind of slide it on. Now it's just like, all you do now is just like sort of push it in to the case that is provided with the phone. So um, earlier you'd have to snap it on. Now you just slide it in. Same thing. Uh, I think this one makes more sense. Let's just start by talking about how the phone looks before I get into that. So the version that we have is the platinum silver-ish version, the gray version. And I have to say it looks really cool. It actually looks like a gaming phone right off the bat. So it looks very similar to the last generation of the Black Shark. You have that typical X design, which I really liked last time as well. Um, I did say last time that it is for ergonomics. So when you're playing for long intensive gaming, it's kind of comfortable when you're holding it this way. But I also found out that it's very beneficial for the antenna bands, the X antenna bands, so you can get a lower latency when you're playing. So your ping is gonna be lower because of these bands. So you can see it bands at the bottom and the top and then the X band as well. So this is good for your connectivity as well, the more you know. The exterior is almost exactly the same. So you have your volume rocker on the left side of the phone, as you can see right here. We have got our power button on the right. And of course, how can we forget the shark mode, which is right here. The trigger is located on the right side as it was before. Also, as you guys can see, the back is lit as any gaming device is these days. Green, yellow, orange, red, magenta, purple, blue, and light blue. So as you guys can see, all of that's there and the colors do change at the top and bottom as well. It just, it, it looks and feels really good in your hands. I really like that. It's ergonomically a very good shape. It's not heavy and uh, it's quite light for a gaming phone. You also have your LEDs to the sides here, the LED strips like we did last time. So once you connect your controller, um, every time you have an input on the controller, you see the lights change. Here's the difference between the previous generation, the Black Shark 2 and the Black Shark 2 Pro. They've updated the processor from the Snapdragon 855, which is already the top of the line, to the 855 Plus. So this is actually top of the line processor for any phone in the world right now. So it has a 12 GB RAM, 128 GB of storage for the one that we have, but it also has a 12 GB, 256 storage variant. So the display on this is actually from my favorite screen producing manufacturers, which is Samsung. So Samsung obviously has the best displays, we already know this. It's a full HD plus display, has HDR10 plus support. Apart from that, your touch sensing is 240 hertz, which means that's how quick you can move and your finger recognition is gonna be instantaneous. Not to be confused with the screen refresh rate, which is still at 60 hertz as opposed to 90 hertz, which some other phones do have, a 90 hertz display would have been better. So this phone is basically the best of the best, and 15% faster. So it's really great. I mean, I, I can't really explain it to you. You kind of have to see it yourself. There's literally no delay with the way you move. Like every touch that I make feels like it's, it's instantaneous. There's no lag in opening apps. The app opening and closing experience is ridiculously fast as you guys can see right here. Honestly, there's not much more to talk about. This phone is a masterpiece for a gaming phone and for the price you're paying for it, the feature return is insane. So if you're in the market for a gaming phone, don't even think twice before buying the Black Shark 2 Pro. 
I still recommend you guys watch our previous video on the Black Shark because that one does explain a lot of features that I haven't talked about here that are present with this phone that you should definitely check out. The cameras are still the same as they were before. We have 48 megapixel at the top and a 12 megapixel at the bottom and our front facing camera is a 20 megapixel camera. There's no headphone jack anymore, so you do have to use wireless headphones or earphones. We've made a video on that earlier, so you guys can check that out. I'm gonna link that up here somewhere. And the speakers are stereo speakers placed in the front of the screen. So when you hold the phone this way, you don't really block them because they're firing straight at you. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I didn't find them to be loud enough. But in this phone, uh, they are slightly louder and they sound a lot better. They're bassier, it's not tinny, so you actually do feel depth to the phone when you're playing your games. So enabling shark mode basically memory dumps all the other background applications. Your sole focus of the phone is gonna be on your gaming experience. All right, so now we're gonna get into a game very quickly. As you guys can see, we're, okay, we're in already. Here, all our buttons here. So if we do connect the other two controls, you can assign all of these buttons. I'm not gonna show that again because I've done that before. I wouldn't see the point to it. All I wanna do is test out the speed on this right now, the touch input and see how fast the processor works. So, oh man. I feel like I'm cheating. Or you know, these guys are all moves. To throw our plane to get some kills. Boom, you see that kill? Easy. Look at that, look at that bullet dodge. Uh, 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 I'm gonna die. Woo, let's go. Double kill. So, right off the bat, man, look at that. Look at that latency. Do you see that? That's crazy. Look at that. It's instantaneous. All right, let's call it UAV. All right. Dude, squad wipe, man. It actually became dark outside because of how long I was playing for. So, this is how you connect the game pads. You have to go into the shark mode itself to uh, be able to connect these two. They connect via Bluetooth to the phone and also they can be turned on from the switches below and also charged using USB-C from the switches below. Same as the phone because that uses USB-C charging as well. So once you're connected, I mean, literally a console, man. Like, it's ridiculous. Look at that. You have a mouse? All right, so thank you guys for watching that really quick review of the Black Shark 2 Pro. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, the main purpose for us to show you this version of the phone was to talk about the upgrades from the previous Black Shark that we did before. Again, I do recommend you watch that video. The input delay is brilliantly low. The screen looks amazing with that AMOLED screen. 4,000 milliamp hour battery. I'm really happy with this phone. Liquid cooling, so it doesn't really heat up as well. That's a major plus. Uh, internet connectivity is great with the bands. So I'm very happy with this phone. We do hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let us know what phone you want us to review next or what electronic or tech related subject you want us to cover next and we will try to get on that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again in the next review. Bye. Let me just actually go play now, alright? See you. <laughs>